Yo, what's up guys? This is uh, Slow-Mo back at you again with another video and I really want to just talk about Destiny going free to play real quick. Uh, I thought it was a great idea and uh, the news came out a couple of weeks ago. Destiny was going to be free, free to play for all content up until now except for I think the raid and the latest raid that is and um, the next content of Shadow Keep that's coming out. Now, I thought this was a great idea because they're also announced. They also announced that they're doing cross saves for uh, all platforms. The game is coming out on. They announced uh, Destiny Two will be out on Google Stadia. So now you got Destiny that's out on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Google Stadia. Pretty awesome. Um, I, I think, and this is just my prediction. I think they will also announce that uh, sometime next year that they're going to um, have implement crossplay, which would be amazing to be able to play uh, peeps on PlayStation uh, with with my uh, Xbox. That would be amazing. Um, and as of now, uh, start with as of now, but as of September, you will be able to uh, just if you have a PlayStation and you have the game. Uh, which you should because it was through it was free through PS plus last September and they're probably going to do some kind of promotion like that again um, between now and September just to try to get as many people on the game as possible but uh, just the fact that you can get the game and play and just move your character from whatever uh, other platform that you had it on that has like your, all your light level, all your gear, all your weapons, and play it on a different platform. I think that's just, you know, it's amazing. But there is some disappointment with all this. And I have to admit, I'm one of the people that's a little bit disappointed. So you get everything up until uh, the update Shadow Keeping in September. But if you want to play with other people on multiple platforms, the Shadow Keep content, you are going to have to purchase this expansion on multiple platforms. And that's something that I just don't think is going to really work out. Don't think that's going to be a viable solution for a lot of people. I've already heard from a lot of people already. They're saying, hey, I'm going to buy this game on my preferred platform and then I'll just do the PvP Crucible stuff iron banner or whatever that it comes with just regular updates and not with paid content on the other platforms and maybe bungie's fine with that but i think that they actually really wanted people to purchase this content on multiple platforms and that's just not it's just not going to happen if this content comes out and it's like 30 40 bucks or something that's 40 dollars per platform that's a lot of money I think what would, be, what would be a better solution is for Bungie to implement um, a very a very good model like Digital Streams did with Warframe. So if you're not familiar with Warframe, Warframe is a very similar game to, to Destiny. Uh, the shooting isn't the same, it's third person perspective, but it is a loot shooter. And it's a quality, quality game. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a shot because it's been free to play since the very beginning. And it's still free to play now. And I think that's something that Bungie should really look into. Instead of just doing this quasi free to play deal, just go free to play all out. Just go for it. So here's why I think the free to play Warframe model will work. Warframe does not have an issue getting people to try their game because it's free. Warframe does have an issue getting people to stay with their game because initially just there's just not a lot of explanations of what's going on when you first start playing Warframe. So I would say roughly, and this is just me estimating off the top of my head, like 25% of the people who try Warframe stick with it. It is a fun, addictive game, but for a lot of people, if you jump into a game and they don't explain anything that's going on to you and there's not that many cutscenes, then you're just not going to be really paying attention. Whereas, 
with Bungie, they they have things different where they they do. I'm not gonna say the the story's better, but it is told better in the beginning. And I think you and with the great gunplay mechanics that you have with Warframe, I can really see where people would stick with the game and play it longer if they realized it was free. And you got a ton of content at this point. You could, from now with uh, Destiny 2 being out almost three years, you've got a, a, a mother load of content for people who are trying the game for the first time to go through. Also, if instead of doing a Destiny 3 and you do a Destiny uh, a free-to-play model where you're just constantly updating the game, you're going to eliminate the, the newer gamers, the younger generation, the guys that everyone wants to get a hold of, get them out of that Fortnite uh, craze, get them into some other games. You can get a hold of that generation and you not have to deal with the fact that a lot of people don't want to get into a game when it's at number three or number four or any game that has a number at the end of it when they know they can start at the at the very beginning and do all the content and build up that's how you can be able to continue to get, keep getting new players coming in because let's be honest here too many hardcore gamers have already written off destiny they've written off the current game and they've already written off destiny 3 you can if you let people know that this isn't a new game this is just us iterating on the same content you're going to get a lot of people who may hey i heard this game's gotten a lot better let me give it a shot and it's free so there's really nothing holding me back from doing that and let's and let's also be real here bungie does not have the backing of a major publisher like activision anymore they now have to worry about the marketing of their game they've got to worry about all the other business administration and management stuff that activision handled for them and they can't just be making their game now they have to worry about how this is monetized they have to worry about how the uh the, the community the destiny community feels about certain things they do and they have to take into account decisions that they make and how those decisions may affect the uh, the final product or affect how that product is monetized. Bungie right now is about 800 developers. And, you know, that's a lot of mouths to feed. It's a lot of people with medical benefits and families. So, and you can't really make the kind of like decisions that could end up being disastrous for this franchise and this game that means you're gonna have to end up doing layoffs in order to try to keep the lights on whereas digital streams is about a third of the size of bungie and they make a game that has a slightly different artistic direction but Visuals are amazing. They update the engine like every three years. They get content out. They drop like two big updates a year. Compare that to Bungie who drops one big update a year and they give you small little updates that they, that they trickle in as the year goes on. It's very possible for them to be able to switch to this model and keep the game going. And I know I, there are some of you out there who may be like, well, they have to keep paying, charging us for these updates, these expansions, because they're trying to be like, wow, they're trying to be like World of Warcraft. And World of Warcraft does it, and it works for them. But I'm like, yeah, but World of Warcraft is only on one platform. It's only on PC. So, yeah, you can do that when you only have one platform and people are only buying that expansion one time when you are trying to get people trying to convince people to buy this expansion multiple times on multiple platforms in order to have access to play that on multiple platforms and you've implemented cross save yeah you're 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 asking people to spend a little bit more than what blizzard asks people to spend with wow this will allow them to just completely eliminate that. And all they have to do 
is really further monetize the Eververse. Then the Eververse isn't so stigmatized. Because the Eververse is, well, it has been stigmatized as just something that people have to deal with. They don't really like spending any 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 money or anything in Eververse. But now your hardcore Destiny community, knowing that the game content is free, and they want to make sure they continue to get free content from a a AAA quality developer, they're going to go to Eververse and and freely spend money on things that they like in there because they want to support the developer. This is something that we've seen with digital streaming and Warframe all the time. Now, there will be some differences in Warframe. You can go into the store and you can buy weapons. You can you can buy you can buy melee weapons, primary, secondary. Some of them are pretty some some damn good weapons. I don't think that's something that Bungie should explore. I don't think that they should have any weapons in there, but I do think they should just definitely Keep having a lot of cosmetic things, cosmetics for your exotics, cosmetics for your your guardian. Really kind of trick out your guardian kind of stuff. Like uh, in Warframe, they have Tenogen. They have uh, a lot. They even, uh, the Tenogen thing is actual Warframe community members uh, out there creating stuff for these these particular warframes digital streams approves it it becomes something that gets monetized and uh the creator of that gets a little a little kit back a little percentage or whatever that uh that particular item makes these are things that bungie could implement to further monetize their game without actually having to charge us for the updates and again like i said they have to find something different than just charging you for each expansion per platform. It's not going to work. You're going to see it this this September. It's going people will buy it on one platform, and that's it. They're not going to buy it on multiple platforms. So if you're going to go cross save and potentially cross play, this free to play route is going to be really, really where you want to be at. So that's my video. Maybe a little long-winded. Apologize for that. My bad. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon to uh, get notifications when I drop another video. And uh, if you agree with me, hey, you know, let me know in the comment section. If you disagree with me, you think I'm out of my mind, think I'm crazy, hey, let me know that too. I'm up for a discussion. I don't really care. I have my opinions and uh, I... I I love to debate them. So it is what it is. You guys have a great day and take care.